Okay, today we're going to do another Google Draw tutorial. So go ahead, open Google Apps, your drive, or just draw if you're on Chrome OS. If you can't find Draw in your list, simply click on More, Google Drawings. Now today we're going to create our very own avatars or vector art. Now I love the fact that Google Draw creates vectors. So what we are going to do is we are going to create our very own vectors. Now, start by clicking on Insert and let's go and search for an image. Go ahead and search for an image that you like. Now there's lots of different things I like. Um, let's start with let's go and have a look for a robot costume. Let's see not much here. Okay this guy looks strange. Lots of strange images. Right let's just go with a cartoon character. We select that image and what Google Draw has now done is inserted this image. I now want to create my very own vector using this image as a guide. You can use your own picture or a photo that you've taken of yourself and then create your own avatar. Start by selecting the polyline tool. Now the polyline tool allows us to create a random shape and then we can change the fill color and line color. These are the tools we are going to use to create a vector. So let's start with our background. I want a nice big background so I'm going to draw the background as a big square going to do a fill, a dark blue fill and a transparent line. I now choose the select tool and I move this to the side. This will be my background. Now let's start selecting some of these smaller elements. In order to do that first thing I'll do is zoom in. So let's zoom in and let's start with the head. Okay I no longer use the polyline seeing as the head is fairly round so let's go and select a shape let's go with a circle shape and I think this looks about right let's go ahead select a blue that matches the head and a transparent line okay let's move this to the side and let's now select a smaller area using the polyline let's go with the top the lighter blue top bit as you can see, I am clicking on each of the individual corners and I am creating smaller shapes. As you add more parts to your drawing, your drawing becomes more detailed and you can add more depth to your drawing. Let's choose a different fill for that. As you can see, these shapes do not have to be perfect as you can always rearrange them afterwards. For instance, I can put this right here and I can also, after having given it a different color, move this backwards, which means it's now behind this shape. Let's move this one backwards so it pops right back into view. You can do this with any shape on your image. As you can see this shape was not aligned to the round bit so I simply moved it backwards by clicking on order, send backwards and you might have to do this two times as Google Draw has various layers. Each shape will be created in a new layer. So go ahead and continue adding to your drawing. You can add various shades by simply adding different shapes in different shades. Also within your shapes you can create a lineless shape. So let's create another polyline and as you can see there's some dark shading here. So I'm going to just quickly draw this out so I can create some shadows. Let's 
go for a transparent with no line and this will now look as if it is creating a shadow you can do this as often as you want and add more and more detail to your drawing okay once you're happy with what you've got you can go ahead and zoom out and now go ahead and delete your original image or photo let's select my head right click and group this now acts as a single element that I can move around and I can rescale my other background shape to match the final product and now have a personalized avatar which is a fully scalable vector image so let's go ahead and file and I can now download this as either a PDF an SVG file PNG image or JPEG image so let's go ahead and download this as an SVG and I now have a drawing dot SVG which is easily opened in programs such as Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching. As always, please leave your questions in the comment section below and feel free to subscribe for more videos.